What is up crypto friends? Today we are going over how to update the Ledger Nano S firmware. It's a kind of a tricky process, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. And by the end, you're going to have a wonderful new firmware version 1.4.1 with all sorts of goodies and security updates. And if it's your first time here and you want to build your knowledge, boost your cryptocurrency gains and join the movement, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. With that, let's hash it out. So today, guys, like I said, we're gonna be going over how to update the Ledger Nano S firmware. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, so definitely stick through to the end of this video so you don't mess anything up. I need you to stick with me. Don't click away from the video because you think you're done. There's actually a specific process you've got to follow. The update that just came out is version 1.4.1, as I said in the intro. And this brings all sorts of really cool goodies and security updates. And this is going to be a mandatory security patch that you have to have on your device by March 20th, 2018. If you don't have this, you won't be able to download any apps or use your Ledger Nano S. So we've got to make sure you have this done by March, by March 20th, 2018. Now another note, don't worry because this is not going to delete your cryptocurrencies. This isn't going to affect anything, but I must warn you, please make sure your 24 word seed phrase is written down correctly and accurately and it is locked away somewhere safe. So if in the event something happens to your ledger either now or in the future, you can easily recover it and all your cryptocurrencies are gonna be safe. So with that, let's jump right to the computer and get started. So guys, first things first, you gotta make sure that you have the Ledger Manager application installed. If you don't, you can find it right here at this web address. Once you have that application installed, all you gotta do is open that bad boy up. And then you're just going to plug in your Ledger Nano S device. Boom, so that's coming on. And then you're gonna punch in your pin number. So we're in, once you've gotten your pin plugged in, you're gonna see your screen updating the store and you're gonna probably see that new firmware is available. So once all these applications pop up and you see uh, the firmwares tab over here, you're just gonna either click this banner down here or go to the firmwares tab. So I'm gonna do it that way so you can see it. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to check that the version you're downloading and installing is 1.4.1. You're gonna see that it is going to tell you some of the things that are coming in this update. There's more that I can explain to you later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. And we're just gonna go ahead and click install. So you're gonna see on your desktop here, you're installing OS Updater, and this is the same sort of process all the way across devices, so Mac, Linux, Windows. I'm doing it on Windows right now, but I've done this on Linux as well, and it does work just fine. We're gonna talk a little bit about this identifier a little bit later, so definitely take note of that. So you, this is just gonna take a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna see something pop up on our Ledger Nano S. So I'll fast forward through this video to when we have to confirm on the Ledger Nano S. Now you're gonna see processing popping up and this can take a little bit, so be patient, don't worry. So here you can see it's gonna confirm that A, this is the right version that you want. You wanna confirm the update and you wanna make sure that this identifier down here, this is very important, this identifier, 2E88F573, that's my unique identifier. See, you see how it's exactly the same on my Ledger Nano S? That's what you need to check. And I think this process of installing the OS updater took about three minutes for my device. So be patient, don't worry, it's not messed up. Once you click install, it can sometimes take a little bit and you may also have to uninstall a couple of apps on your Ledger Nano S if there's not enough space. If that's the case, all you do is you go to applications on your Ledger Nano S, Ledger Manager application, and then hit the trash can icon and uninstall it. So I've confirmed that this is the right version, 1.4.1. I've confirmed that the identifier on my desktop screen matches the one on my Ledger Nano S screen. So now I'm gonna click this right hand side button to confirm that I wanna go through with the update. So I'm clicking that and then it's gonna ask me for my pin again. So I'm gonna set, add my pin here. 
I'm gonna take the video off so you can't see my pin again. Sorry guys. So I've confirmed, confirmed my pin. Now it is restarting. And you're gonna see now this error here. MCU firmware is outdated. Now don't panic, this is completely normal. There is a process to get this sorted out and get this fixed. Okay guys, so now this Ledger Nano S device says MCU firmware is outdated. So don't worry about this, this is not a problem, this is completely normal. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to fix it. Now you need to follow these steps exactly, so please stick around, keep watching. You're not completely done yet, but I'm gonna walk this, I'm gonna walk you through this all the way, don't worry. So what you need to do is you need to hold down the left hand button. So this left hand button on the ledger, hold it down. Then you're going to unplug the ledger device. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure you've restarted the ledger manager software, which I have already done. So I'm not gonna show you that. Now I'm gonna plug this back in. And you see how it says bootloader there? That's exactly what we wanna see. So you're still holding this down. Now what you can do is you can release that button and your Ledger Nano S, or your Ledger Nano S is gonna connect to your computer. It's gonna say, restoring MCU, do not disconnect your device. So it's restoring the MCU, it's in bootloader. It'll restart a couple of times and then it's gonna say, update. And what that means is that it's making some final uh, updates on the device. And then this is going to take up to five minutes to finish on your device. So your Ledger Nano S is gonna say update, then it should change to processing, and then your Ledger Manager application should be asking you for your pin again, your Ledger device will ask you for your pin, and then you're close to done. You have one more step after that to verify the install. So stick with me, don't go away, we're not done yet. Now we've got it changing to processing. Boom, that's a good sign. It should be working a little bit more now. So this whole process has taken about five and a half minutes for me. My computer is a little bit slow, but it's not too bad. So this should take around five, five and a half minutes for you. It takes longer, don't stress. I'm gonna fast forward again, so you don't have to wait for all this to load. I, like I said, doing this live as I record this video for the first time. And boom, there we go. See, it's asking me for my pin. That means the update is finished. And that is good news. Your ledger manager application should be asking you for your pin like you see on the screen right now. Perfect, we are in great shape. Now, what you need to do is punch your pin in. Stick with me now because we need to make sure that everything installed correctly. To do that, you're gonna open up your ledger. And here's one thing to note. This firmware update may have erased your apps, and that is totally okay. Your apps are not what stores your cryptocurrency. It is stored on the blockchain. Your apps only hold your, the information for your keys, so you can then access your cryptocurrencies later on. Don't worry if your apps are gone. You can reinstall them super easily in Ledger Manager. But to verify that your software is in fact upgraded, you're gonna go to Settings, going down to device, firmware, and see it says secure element 1.4.1. That means we're in good shape. It updated like we were hoping it would. And MCU should be 1.5. If both of these check out, 1.4.1 for secure element and 1.5 for MCU, that means this is in good shape and we are good on the update. So guys, that was it. That was how to install the newest firmware on your Ledger Nano S device. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can walk through some of the great features that they've added in a future video and how to optimize your device because one of the most exciting things that they've done is allowed you to install up to 18 unique applications on your device. But how they've done this is by taking the Bitcoin applications code and extending that to some of the other Bitcoin based applications like QTUM, like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, those sorts of applications are gonna use the code from the Bitcoin application on your Ledger Nano S to allow you to install more onto your device despite the hardware 
soft or hardware and software limited in storage. So if you want that video, you want me to tell you how to optimize your device to fit up to 18 applications, leave me a comment in the comments below. Please do subscribe. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out. Always happy to help you guys out. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.